received the question to tell if the energy of an angle core is very specific or whether it is a transformational energy. And the answer is a little bit of both, but mainly specific. On the higher levels, the, uh, there is much more of a focus of guiding the beings on the lower levels. So the higher up you go in the aggregate, the more specific the energy is. It is just the energy of an ideal a method, uh, a, a vision, uh, you could say. And this vision is used to inspire every level below it. So that's these lower levels where a lot of transformation is taking place and also the transformation is going very rapidly, can be guided by that framework to grow towards that ideal, towards that single point of perfection, which is the ultimate peak, the ultimate top of the aggregate. Um, so depending on what level of the aggregate you're connecting to, you'll also find the energy to be more um, inspirational, giving you a kind of a structure, a kind of a framework, um, a moral framework or a an ideological or philosophical framework, but if you're working more with the lower part of the anchor core, then often you will find the energy to be much more transformational. Um, it will uh, awaken certain powers in you, certain talents in you, it can have a, a healing quality about it. Um, it can help you to uh, let go of your blockages, of your barriers. So the answer is very much uh, both. But um, the amount of the uh, transformational energy is also very much limited by the amount of members and the amount of support the aggregor has on these lower levels. So you often find that if an aggregor is very well rooted within uh, the, yeah, the lower worlds and there are many members, then also the healing effects will be uh, will be quite strong. There is like a very big pool of life force of transformational energy which all members of the aggregor can share in. And then depending on who needs it most or at a specific time, a lot of people can yeah, make all these energies available so the person can achieve breakthroughs, which would otherwise never be possible. And because of these breakthroughs, the person can generate more energy, which will then again benefit uh, the whole of the, of the group. So, in a way, by having a shifting focus, uh, people can really make breakthroughs and start spiraling upward in consciousness. But if the echo core is relatively old and has very few members left on the world, or even if it is very small, therefore also has very few members and often the energy is not so transformational it is more uh, specific it's more of a touchstone where you can um, in a way feel like am i still on the right path am i still in harmony uh, with yeah with the way with the road i've chosen um, so it is much more of a, of a passive energy in, in that sense. So it depends very much which specific aggregore you're, you're looking at and working with. So some aggregores are much more focused on transforming the world around them, uh, while other aggregores are more focused on a, yeah, more an individual change, an in individual transformation. So. There's also a difference in the type of transformational energy which is made available. Is it more of a, of a life force, which is just helping the people to grow and to, to evolve themselves? Or is there a lot of elemental power which gives you the ability to influence other people, um, influence um, this energetic structure of the world around you? So also depending on the aggregore and what its purpose is, um, you will find that the energies available in the aggregore are very, very different. Uh, I think the best examples are also the aggregores which have been active in uh, blessing places, for instance. There you 
of an egregore which is really focused on creating a transformation of the energetic world around them uh, in a way to open up doorways for progress, for lighter powers to come down to us and for us to reach higher states of awareness. So these are very transformational egregores, very active egregores, um, while others are much more philosophical and focused inward. <laughs>